Hello everybody and welcome back. Next we're going to go ahead and get started on the master page. This will control the whole look and feel of our site. So I'm just going to have a go in the file, in the views, and create a new file. Control shift S to save it. And I'm going to call it master. Blade.php. Spell blade wrong. That wouldn't have worked. Master that blade at PHP. And here we go. The students HTML5. I'm going to set a variable for title. So we'll keep that there. We're we'll going to the body. And I'm just going to run through this real quick using uh, Emmet. So I'm going to deal with the class of navbar. Inside, we're inside that, we're going to have another div with a class navbar enter. Let's tab that. Okay. Inside here, we're going to have just an HTML link. So, an HTML link. Create our link tag here. It's going to link to the default route. And we're just gonna call it no, no, no some something picture uploads. Uh, next we're gonna have an array because we're gonna add a class of brand to it. So cl array class equals brand. And that's that. Next we're gonna have a UL a class of nav. And we're going to pull it to the right. So pull right. Now we're just going to show this navigation uh, if the user is logged in. So to do that, we're just going to say if auth user. <coughs> if auth user. We're going to have a simple li a list item here, and then we have another HTML link just to log out. So HTML link log out. That's the route we'll be going to, and that's the value. Next, we can go ahead and the F so and if and we come down to this next this uh, last div tag here since we're done with the navigation bar now we're just going to say a div with a class of container inside that we're going to have a div with a class of row Out here we're gonna have at yield content and that'd be alright for that now. Let's go up here and set up our scripts and styles. So One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw this in. So name is going to be viewport. You could skip this step if you don't want it uh, responsive, but I want to start doing more responsive stuff. So this enables the responsive layout. And responsive CSS with uh, within Twitter's Bootstrap content width equals device width and initial scale equals 1.0. Okay, so that right there 
when you have the actual responsive CSS will actually give you a responsive layout uh, to give you an idea of what it looks like. It's just you know you can just take this and you know go ahead and just make it responsive. So if you don't want a responsive, you don't need a responsive, but this is how you do it responsive. But um okay here we go. Let's go ahead and hash out these scripts. So HTML script JS forward slash I'm using a local core local installation of jQuery. You feel free to CDN out to it. I'm not. I'll go ahead and copy this. Paste it here, and this one's going to be bootstrap.css. So bootstrap.js. Sorry, this will be jQuery.js. I'll go ahead and paste this and change this to style. Then CSS. And this one's going to be bootstrap.css. Go ahead and copy that. Go ahead and change the data out of there. So we're going to use the bootstrap responsive. I'm just going to use the minimum. So minimal because we're not going to make any changes to it. And that's all. I'll clean this up a little bit. Okay. And go ahead and save it. And in the next tutorial we'll go ahead and work on the index page. And stay tuned.